ഇപ്പോൾ ഡൽഹിയിൽ സീതാറാം യെച്ചൂരി മാധ്യമങ്ങളെ കാണുകയാണ് തസമയ സംപ്രേഷണത്തിലേക്ക് which help them to cut across the social groupings and the ethnic divides that are there among the indian people this was aided by the building up of the modi persona and this building of the modi persona was aided by the massive use of money power media sections of the corporate media being part of this build up build up of the narrative and also the role played by the electoral bonds of which the maximum amount was transferred to the bjp and that of the election commission so we have now decided that we will talk to all the other parties opposition parties and seek to urgently reform the election commission so that it can play a neutral and impartial role in the conduct of free and fair polls what we are specifically stating is that by law the election commissioners must not be appointed by the government of the day but through a collegium headed by the president of india this is essential to begin with and on the basis of this further electoral reforms that are required to ensure that democracy functions well that must be brought in but this represents a big uh, victory for the right wing the left has suffered a big setback in these elections but far from being what you uh, they are disappointed of course but far far far, far from being disarmed or or what is saying that the general rumors of the left is now exterminated or finished remember the right wing political offensive can only be met by a left political counter offensive it is this left political counter offensive based on a class alternative and class politics that is what the cpim will do now for this we have worked out in our central committee so far from being I been on 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 the retreat of the back foot this is the time for the left assertion in indian politics to safeguard what modern india stands for to safeguard what the constitution promises of secular democracy to safeguard the rights and democratic rights and civil liberties of the people which will increasingly come under attack already ominous indications are there of any form of dissent being cracked down upon you had the uh, arrest that have occurred after the election you had threat calls that have come to secular intellectuals and on all these issues integrating the issues on of people's livelihood and their economic burdens that are bound to grow in the days to come along with issues of social oppression of what has happened to that young doctor in maharashtra who was forced to commit suicide pile that we on on the question of dalit atrocities minorities women and the issues of uh, atrocities on women and gender oppression that are now surfacing on all these issues combining both these aspects struggles on economic issues livelihood along with the issues of social oppression the party has chalked out a program of action through which we will galvanize the entire left in the country seek greater unity among the left forces and then to build and strengthen the counter class offensive of the left against the right wing consolidation for this we have discussed the reasons that led to our setback in our strongholds now these are preliminary uh, reviews because the booth level committee reports are being all being examined and once they those details come a more great, greater detailed review will be undertaken but some of the facts that are clear is that we lost a lot of support base in terms of the voting percentage in bengal tripura and to some extent in kerala 
Now the first task before the party which we have undertaken in the Senate Committee is to reach out to these sections who are our traditional voters and to bring them back into our fold. This will be done by specific people-oriented programs so that our link with the people will be further strengthened. One lesson that we have drawn from this uh, uh, electoral result is that the party's independent strength and its political intervention capacities continue to weaken. It had begun a decade ago in terms of electoral presence in the parliament from 2009, but we, all the measures that we have taken in order to arrest that and reverse that. A proper examination was done in our party organization plenum in 2015, December, but the implementation of the plenum decisions has not been reviewed because the intervening period, you have the assembly elections, you have the general elections, etc. So we have now decided that within three months, all the state committees will review the implementation of the organizational decisions to strengthen the organization and to deepen our links with the people. All the decisions in this regard that were taken at the state level, how they have been implemented, what have been the shortcomings, drawbacks and the lessons that has to be done to fine tune those decisions, that will be undertaken and this exercise by the states will be completed by the end of August within three months. And subsequent to that, the, uh, we'll prepare what we learn out of it and the lessons we draw and the Central Committee will consider that report on that basis concrete programs of action will be undertaken to achieve the objective that we set out for ourselves in the organization plenum, that is to strengthen the revolutionary party with a mass line. The line of the party will be mass, the character of the party will be revolutionary. That objective, to achieve that objective, how we can further strengthen that, that will be done. In the meanwhile, the Central Committee decided and adopted a large number of specific tasks that need to be undertaken alongside this review within the next three months. But the main important uh, aspect of that is that we anticipate today. There will be four areas in which very grave challenges will arise. One is in the defense of secularism. As we were stated in our uh, constitution and the constitutional republican order that in itself will come under severe attack. It is already there in the last five years and this will continue to intensify. The CPM will take, make all efforts to rally the broadest possible sections to come together to resist this onslaught and meet and defeat this challenge. Sitara Michuri Dalil, Mathe Mangala Kanu Gairunu, Adeham Lok Sapatar and Yedapil, Partikate Tirichadi Vishayam, Kendra Committee Yoga Tirman and Vishdigri Kiernu, Shabri Malavishetu, Supreme Order with Nadapakana, LDF Sarkar, Kerala Til Stromicha, Vishwasigalaya and Pavigale, Party Lake Tirigetikan, Stromicum, BJPM, UDFM, Vishwasigale, Shabri Malavishetu, Titipichuinum, Adeham Mathe Mangloda, Paranu, Talsamea, Drishingalan, Prekshakar Kanta.